hi guys welcome back to my channel so I hope you're all doing good out there I know um, under these circumstances it's kind of uh, weird to be doing this but I figured I would come here and play a little dress up with you guys give you some inspiration on maybe putting together some outfits just to be around in the house or even if you work from home these are great outfit ideas they look good from the waist up <laughs> So I picked three Pinterest um, images. If you guys don't really know um, this kind of style of video, I take three Pinterest images uh, from my boards that I've been loving and I try to recreate those looks with items from my own closet or sometimes I even grab stuff from my inventory. I think I did pretty good on all of them. Um, and I'm really excited. These are all outfits that I would, if I was going out and actually doing something, that I would actually wear out in the real world some, or get some inspiration on how to style these items. Because I know I get, you know, I get stuck not knowing how to style like a midi skirt or um, like a satin slip dress or just like a variety of items. So I like to use these as an opportunity to Kind of like use go into your closet and see if you can recreate any of these really cool looks that you see on Pinterest so let's get into the first look look is actually this look right here and as you can see she's wearing um, a white satin um, mini dress a nude blazer and a net bag let's see if I can focus right there super cute outfit definitely perfect for spring so let me go ahead and jump into what i ended up putting together i grabbed my um, white midi dress that my very good friend kenya uh, miss lola collective on instagram she actually gifted me this midi dress it's super cute it got this oversized blazer in paris for a euro perfect tone and then I have this very cute net bag little market bag I didn't really see what shoes she was wearing but I went ahead and added my um, chunky dad sneakers because why not <laughs> is this crooked of course it is I really like this outfit it was pretty simple to get some of the items from my closet because I already had these pieces it was something that I already wanted to um, wear in some way or another and this oversized blazer does a really good job of like covering the butt and making sure that you're you know you feel secure okay for the second look let me go ahead and show you guys what I wanted to recreate this very business chic outfit and she has some dress pants kind of like slouchy dress pants uh, it looks like a crew neck sweatshirt and an oversized blazer and you can see you can barely see she has some nude pointed toe pumps so we'll see how i can recreate this i'll be back this is the second outfit that i kind of wanted the pants to be slightly baggier but overall I like the kind of like casual business vibe it gives and it's actually I would I would consider this work appropriate depending um, on what um, job you have so I actually really enjoy this this is something that if I was working in an office I would probably wear all the time um, you got some nude pumps going on I don't know if you can actually see that and I paired it with these high-rise gray slacks and this oversized um, vintage Levi Strauss crew neck sweatshirt that is actually for sale if you're interested and it has these really cool just like distressed um, details which I think gives it some character and my navy um, DKNY vintage oversized blazer and I actually really enjoy this look this is so cute super cute hair slicked back nothing complicated 
if you are still working from home, I think this is such a cool outfit to wear because once you're off of, you know, you get off of work, you can just stay in your comfy sweatshirt and change into some leggings and you are um, set. So, so how did you guys think I did on this outfit? I really love it. I like, I can't stop staring at it actually. Super cute. Okay, so the last and final outfit is a little outfit right here. So let me zoom in so you guys can see. So she's wearing a basic white t-shirt, like a Hanes type style t-shirt, a leather blazer jacket, a black mini skirt, and some square toe. It looks like knee high boots. And then she also has a little shoulder bag. Very cute outfit. Definitely perfect for spring. So, oh, it actually looks, now that I look at it, it looks like a denim skirt, but I'm gonna have to improvise because I don't have a denim mini skirt. So, oh, and she has some gold jewelry. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and go change into the outfit. All right, well, isn't this just the cutest 90s outfit? Um, so as you saw in the picture that I wanted to recreate, she was wearing, um, a denim, actually a mini skirt, like once I zoomed in, but I don't have one. So I just have this little black ribbed one, which pretty much does the same thing. And this white basic Hanes t-shirt. It's just like a crew neck t-shirt. And then uh, I will get close up and I have this link necklace that I got from ThreadUp and these um, just like I think they're rose gold actually because I don't have big um, gold hoop earrings and then I have my little 90s shoulder bag and of course my very silky smooth leather jacket and then I don't know if you can actually see the bottom my shoes but they are they are these um square toe mid-calf booties um i didn't have any knee-high booties um, knee-high boots but these work just the same and i actually really like this outfit i think it's really cute it's perfect for like if you're having like a girls night or um actually date night would be really cute cute too um, I do also want to note that I need a tan ace in a long time, but, but I actually really enjoy this outfit. It's something that I definitely would like to wear um, going out with friends or um, going on a date night with my husband. Super cute. And it's actually pretty comfortable as well. Like I feel covered up, but also still showing some skin, which I really enjoy. And yeah, I would rate this a 10 out of 10. I like it. I like it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and gave you some inspiration or even just took your mind off things uh, for the moment. And please let me know down below which one was your favorite and if you'd like for me to basically do this video again. Or if you have any other video suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. Thank you again for watching. Bye.